Hey, Clayton Bates here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to add policy pages to your Shopify website. So privacy policy, terms of service, shipping policy, and refund policy. And just quickly, I'm actually looking for some artwork to go on the wall back there. If you've got any suggestions, let me know in the comments. So when you're in your main menu of Shopify, I might just move my head. You want to go to the bottom left where it says settings and click there. And then you want to go over here where it says legal. Now, the great thing about Shopify is they've actually got pre-built templates that you can actually use and add or remove whatever is necessary for your business. So in this page, we've got the refund policy, privacy policy, terms of service, shipping policy. Now, for the refund policy, we can click this button and say create template and it'll actually create a template for us. Same with the privacy policy and the terms of service. The, like I was saying, you really wanna go through and actually read these and actually add and remove stuff because there's a lot of stuff here that you know doesn't relate to your products. So for example, on privacy policy here, a lot of people forget to do this. It actually says here, insert description of other types of tracking technology. Now you probably wouldn't want to have that on your website. You could actually delete it or add that information. This one privacy policy actually has a lot of that stuff here. A lot of people always forget to actually do that. So really important to actually read through it. Now with the shipping policy, it doesn't have a template. Realistically, you don't want to spend too much time here. You want to get something up so it really gives someone an idea of what you're all about with the shipping. So you could have like one or two sentences here. You could have something like if we type in processing, processing times, um, one to two business days. Oh, whoops, I messed up there. We can even make this heading like bold. You know, it's pretty much like a Word document. Um, delivery time. So maybe it takes, you know, four, two to seven business days for your customer to actually receive the products. Now, the great thing about these as well is you really probably should have product tabs on your product pages. So you could actually, once you do these, you could actually add product tabs and have like a tab for shipping information, returns policy, FAQs. So once you build out this shipping policy, you can actually add that to a product tab. Now, really important to have all the information about the product on the product page. So adding product tabs really helps someone decide whether they want to buy your product. You can pretty much add, um, you can pretty much answer any question someone has. If you have product tabs, a really nice product description. A lot of people actually forget that. I might just show you how, how you can actually add this to the navigation of your site as well. So obviously we want to save up here in the top right. And then to actually get to navigation, you want to go online store and you want to click navigation. And the theme that I normally use is called the beautifier. You can have multiple navigations in the footer and we're actually going to put this in the footer. So we're going to make a new menu, add menu. You can call this whatever you want. So we might put policy pages and then where it says click menu item, you click there, click link. I normally do the link first because it's going to generate the name for me. So if we scroll down to the bottom where it says policies, we've got all your policies here. So privacy policy, we click on that. It's already generated the name. Press add, add menu item. You just keep doing this for the policies. I normally structure them like a certain way. I would normally do like um, privacy policy, terms of service, refund policy, shipping policy. I don't know why I do that. I just always have top right, press save. And then if we go down here where it says themes, this would, we click customize here as well. Um, this could work for the main menu and stuff like that as well. That sort of building out a navigation. This is sort of like an example store I have just for testing and things like that. So what we want to do is probably move my head out of the way. And then once my internet actually loads, we want to scroll down to the bottom. So we've got the footer. I normally build out footers like this. Newsletter sign up, be really creative to get people to sign up to your newsletter. 
Then I like to have a menu called information with like contact about FAQs, maybe a blog, a menu of shops. So I'll link to all your products or all your collections and probably three of your most popular collections all your social media links and then all the policy links. So someone can be, get pretty much anywhere on your website in one or two clicks from this footer. Now, if we wanna add that menu to the policies, we just click on footer over here and then we click this menu policies and then select menu, policy pages, select. So now all those links are there. Now, normally these, these sections won't actually be here. I've actually added them. So if we actually delete this information one, it says add content, add menu, and then we can actually name it whatever we want. So information or whatever, it will automatically put a menu in here. We can just change like I just did before, click policy pages. And then if we, we can actually click and hold it, we can move it wherever we want. So like I said, if you really build out this, this footer well, it's gonna look really professional, allow someone to get pretty much anywhere on your website in one or two clicks. And you know, it's gonna be really good. So that's about it. Um, if you wanna use Dubutify, I did a review of it, you can check it out. Personally, I think it's the best uh, free theme on Shopify. Um, if you wanna sign up to Shopify, if you haven't, there's a link below. Any of the affiliate links that I have in the product in the in the description below, if you actually use them, just message me and I'll actually do a video review of your website, going over tips, suggest suggestions, things like that, totally free, you know, 10, 15 minute video, um, giving you a lot of value and stuff like that. Because I like to, you know, return the value, return the favor, like you use my link, I'll give you some free value, no dramas at all. So hopefully you like this, um, hit the like button, subscribe, throw your phone, do whatever you want. Um, that would be awesome, really helps my channel, really want to add a lot of value here. So until next time, have a good one. Bye.